So I, I do not have the, um, the face cam on tonight. I hope you can all live with that. Uh, if you can't, I don't blame you. That's, that's fine. Uh, don't live with that. Uh, fracture your mind completely into a, a, a oblivion and, uh, and fail to, uh, to live with the, with the facts as they are. That's, that's also an acceptable course of action. Uh, Lord knows I've given it some consideration uh, over the last uh, couple of days. Uh, weeks, months. We're getting there. We're getting there. Everything's starting to come up Millhouse. You just gotta, just gotta hang in there. Uh, does it seem like I'm stalling for for time? I don't know. I don't know why you would think that. But I, that you would think that I was stall, stalling. Stalling? Why, why, why would I need to uh, stall? It's not as though there's uh, some sort of problem. I'm having trouble getting everything up and running uh, the way that it's supposed to be. Uh, everything is uh, proceeding exactly according to the grand plan as set out by uh, myself uh, at, the, at the outset of the evening. And for someone to suggest otherwise, well, that, that, that's, just, that's just rude. It's rude of them to suggest uh, such a thing. Because, uh, well, as we all know, I'm, I'm infallible. Oh, wait, no. No, that's, that's right. I'm, I'm very much not. I'm very, very fallible. Um, okay, so I'm going to, uh, I'm going to get this thing up and, and running now. Sorry about that. So, I'm going to hit a uh, new game here. This is a game called Sanity of Morris. Sanity of Morris. Uh, I got a, a press pass on this one uh, from a website called Keymailer, which I thought was kind of cool. They, they sent me a free demo copy it's a five hour drive that I get to play. And it seems like the, the audio levels are pretty reasonably balanced. Like, you can hear me talking, you can hear him talking. So that's good. Good. Oh, well, that's a shame. Yeah. Oh, bummer. At first, I didn't realize that was a cursor. I, th I thought I was, like, following a dot on the road. Okay, so we've got some, some character establishment. My character wanted to be a cop. Wasn't. Dad left. Oh, I'm really hauling ass down this road. This is exactly how I talk to myself when I'm driving in the car. That's how I think to myself, maybe. Maybe a little. Ooh. Oh my god. You deranged lunatic. Take it easy, buddy. A deer, uh, press the left mouse button. Okay. But oh, there's quick time events? Okay, I'm not sure about the voice acting in this game now. For one thing, I've crashed my car and you, you don't make those noises. You just kind of seize up. So left mouse button? What? Hold W. Okay. F. F for flashlight. Okay. So I, I was just run off the road by a truck and I'm going to pull out a beacon of light to let people know that I'm here. That seems ill-advised. Coming after me? <clears throat> I better hide. Turn off the 
flashlight. Yeah, there we go. Okay, good. Press control the cat to crouch. Um, wow, I feel like I'm tripping here. What is it? What am I looking at? The target has crashed his car. We'll confirm the death of Morris' son. Situation control team out. Why would you call him the target and then identify him as Morris' son? Move your ass, John. Okay, my name is John, and my car is lost. I move past the car. N no, okay, it started me to look. Uh, turn that on. No, okay. Why? Well, why didn't have me look at the car? Look elsewhere. Look towards the way you want me to go. Okay, shift button runs, I, and now it tells me. God, my lungs are burning. <sighs> Nothing. Seems broken. God, where am I? Greenwick. My father's house. <laughs> Maybe I can get there. Maybe I shouldn't run with my lungs full of smoke. Who are those guys? Why would they do such a thing? Why? John, walk now. Analyze later. I, I don't want to walk with my flashlight on in case they're still looking for me. Why it just made me turn take my flashlight out? No, stop that. Alright, I have no control over this. Here comes the van again. Yeah, okay, so you literally like gave away your own position. Mash W. This is weird, it's like a first person until dawn. Turned off the flashlight, and they've lost me. What are they dressed in? I think I lost them. There's some weird-looking dudes right there. Okay, I have, I have control over this again. Ah, uh, yes, I do. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, are those men wearing masks? It's a military outfit I've never seen before. Okay, what is that? It's kind of weird, like. Even my vision's going all foggy. This is exactly why I didn't become a cop. I've got to avoid a panic. Staying in the light can only get worse. Okay, so you have panic attacks. All right, I'm in the light. Everything's cool. Calm down. You're all right. I'm all right. I'm okay. You're okay. But what the holy hell is that thing? It, was a joke. They're up there. I'm not. I'm not going to turn the flashlight on right now because they're clearly still looking for me. Research Institute. Look at those lights. Wait. These men in suits. Talk about Morris's son. That's me. At the institute. It's voicemail. Is it connected? Is Hank okay? It's weird that you call your dad by his first name. I can understand oh, if he was your stepdad. I'm not, for the record, I'm not controlling any of this. It's like a cutscene. Okay, now I'm in control again. Is it weird, like a, like a dome up there? What is that? Oh, my character's, my vision's getting all weird. Okay, so I really don't like being in the dark. I got it. Breathe. Yeah, seem to have settled down a little bit now. That's good. Well, now I have no idea where I am. What? Uh, did I run into a ravine? What, oh, okay. Ooh, spooky noises. That's fun. I'm out of control again. It's just driving itself. Voicemails usually do contain messages. Press tab to open the journal. Wow, I am just... Have I been drinking? 
Or taking hallucinogenics? What, what is with the coloration and everything? Down all the clues and facts and find in my journal. To help me keep a clear head and solve problems. Let's okay. See if I can construct a timeline of events. Okay. Here I'll sort information in chronological order. I should be on the lookout for files, pictures, audio tapes, things like that. Okay, do okay. Listen to that voicemail now. Oh shit. Voicemail. Um, Jonathan, this is Hank. I hope this, this is, is Hank. You can't rely on secure telephone connections anymore in these days. You can't count on anything for shit. You must visit me. I need to take you fishing in the lake. There's a big fish. Is it at Asner? Just the spot. It might be in the dark at first, but there's some amazing stuff to see there. It had me quite captivated these past two The hell is that? What is that? I've got some nice pictures of it. I want to show it to you. Let me think. Yes. When you come to the house, uh, I, I'm, I'm sure you'll brighten up the place. Home is where the hearth is, right? You'll need to get into the groove of things. Listen to some old classics. After which I'll have you do a number of things. I've got a whole schedule laid out for you. You'll see there's more to Green Lake than you first thought. I haven't forgotten it. Afraid of the night, so make sure you bring a flashlight. I have to go now. Oh, he is talking in code. Have to prep the house. We'll call you later. I'm sure you'll call brighten up the place. Home is where the hearth is, right? All right. Well, I should probably check the fireplace, huh? Damn, boy. Look at all these letters. When was the last time Hank emptied this box? It's dark enough to make a man lose his mind out here. Well, tape doesn't exactly keep the door closed. Can I get in there? Not getting in this way. I suppose not. I don't know. There's the old RV. The old RV is still here. Does that nice antenna house? But now, Victrola, listen to the old classics. All right, I'll have I'll have a look around in there. Okay. Can I go up this ladder? No. There's no jump. There's no jump. Okay. I, even in a game where a jump isn't particularly required, I like to have a jump. I'm very... What? Oh, a canoe. Hank's old canoe. Can you canoe a canoe? Well, at least I know he's not out fishing. Yeah. Oh, it's automatic. Okay. What's, uh... What's up, Nomi? No. Da! Who's playing stab notes on the piano? Key. Must be the key to the kitchen. Okay, I got a key to the kitchen. Cool. Can I put the gnome down now? Good. Good. Inside. Flashlight's freaking out. Okay, I got a picture of a little girl. I haven't made mention of my sibling yet. Pickles. Pickle jar, pickle jar, pickle jar. Ah! Oh my God, what was that? Breathe, John. Breathe. Remember your training? Adrenaline does some crazy stuff to the body. You're spooked, that's all. Right, hang on a second, I'm, I'm trying to open up chat on my iPad here in case anybody's actually talking at me, which they're not, but that's okay. You never know. You never know when somebody's going to show up. A teapot. Stick the kettle on. No? No clown heads this time? A plate. Plates are pretty spooky. Never know what it might turn into. No? Nothing? <gasps> Ooh, a banana. Bananas are terrifying. So you keep your cooler on bananas, huh? It's just pickle jars that freak you out. I understand completely. Let's go in the fridge. Hey, there's a photo of my mom. Weird. What else you got? Some kind of 
Is it a hot pepper? A cuke? Some carrots? Eggplants? Uh, pick up this booze? No. Maybe it's not booze. Maybe it's like olive oil or something. Uh, uh, let's go to the door of mysteries. And the door of mysteries. I found the turlet. Found some turlet paper. Is there anything of interest in here? Anything happening in this turlet at all? No? Okay. Well, I got myself lost in the turlet. That's impressive. Well done, Pat. Um... I don't my like. I don't like the this flashlight's kind of crapping out on me. You think, you know, if your dad left you a message that said bring a flashlight, maybe you would have like checked the batteries on it or something. I don't know. I'm just talking here. But uh That's a weird radio. What's your deal, radio? You, you like making noises at people? Make you feel like a big man? I'll grab this file, huh? These documents hold important information. All right, well, let's check them out. Documents. Uh, it's an employee evaluation of 2006. Employee number is 7684, Hank Morris. He is lauded as a brilliant scientist and data analyst at the Old Observatory Station, apparently a location that is separate from the RI and CS head office. His, <clears throat> his managers report that he should stop bringing his work to home and that he has become isolated. He needs to socialize more with his observatory workmates and focus on a healthy work ethic. They give him a complimentary fishing rod. Uh, this must be when he took up fishing. Well, it's good to know those years were hard on him too. Oh, so, okay, so that's not the note. Like, that's that's not the actual, you know, employee review. That's that's my character's like hot take on on the on the review so okay um moving on from there yeah some funky noise around here. hey what's that oh uh, yeah home is where the hearth is the fuck hello still live together as a family 15 years ago. I swear I saw it move just now. I swear I saw it move just now? I don't know about this cooking pro. Magazines are... Oh my god, it's terrifying. It's the same magazine cover on the front and on the back. It's madness in here! Uh, back to the fireplace. There's something in there. What's that? That's like the same exact fuse that they have in um, Dying Light. Things in my journal will start to make sense. Maybe. Can, can I? Do I have to look at this thing forever now? Is this my whole life? It's kind of a. Uh, what's in here? Nothing. All right. Um, the hell? What? What was that? Like a goat statue? My dad has disappearing goat statues in his apartment? Or house? You just, you just put the TV on the floor, huh, Hank? Couldn't be buggered to, like, uh... I don't know, like, uh, put it on some sort of a console or something? That's fine. I get the feeling my dad was a weird guy. Into the basement. Hey, if the lights are broken, then how's this light working? Hmm. Well, well. Yeah, yeah, what's in here? Screwdriver? Better bring it along. Interesting. Didn't look like a screwdriver, it looked like a lock pick. Uh switch that on? No? Alright. How about that? Glad to have power again. There we go. Living room, kitchen, second floor, the attic. Come on, John. Time to find some clues. John's room. Uh -huh. oh, maybe I can stop having a panic attack. Oh, what's this? A recorded tape. Neat. Yeah. Ah, there it is. 
This is Hank Morris, December. <laughs> I'm just yeah, Hank Morris, I'm pissed. I'm gonna, get something off gonna go get pissed. So, Some Barbara good liquor. Recently died. You know it's been nine years since I went to Greenlight. Marriage and still. She was a fine woman. Great research. <laughs> but so my I wife, see. my lover, That's my lady is the C. See, I've just come See, he just said it. See. God, that boy drives me mad. I went to mad as a hatter? Talking to Mr. Reed. It's my boss. Ah, Mr. Reed. Oh, well, you got everybody was Mr. Reed. I had to do some real hard talking, but made a good case. But Jonathan's background in psychology and all that, I had it all sorted out. I then called Jonathan, told him about the job, and offered he could live with me. Still have his room ready. But <laughs> so he outright I, refused me. I, he said he wants to go without to consulting my son, I went looking for a way to get him a job and then offered for him to live in my house. My grown adult son living in the house with me and working at the same company. And he didn't want to do it. It's weird. And an F you to the old man. It's not an F you to the old man. It's just disappointed. Maybe, maybe you're a selfish asshole. That sounds like a you problem. What was that? Red? That's oh, a fishing pole. Didn't he mention something about fishing in the lake? I believe he did. I wonder if he meant that literally. Maybe he did. Um, all right, well, I, I think I've found everything I'm going to find down here. Unless the lights are on in the turret. No? All right. What is it? What? It was going. <gasps> lights are flickering. It's in here. Mom always said Dad left us behind. Sometimes I wonder if it was the other way around. What's this? Green paint? Looks like the number six. Can I look at these boxes at this angle? It looks like there's a number. A six. All right. Not Resident Evil reference? Who's gonna empty the bathwater? Come on, let's be real. Screwdriver fits? Hey, there it is. The number four. Uh, looks like there's a number here. Four. Okay. A recorded tape. Sweet, a fresh tape of my dad rambling to himself. This should be fun. Pass my prime by. I've been a grouchy old man since I was 20. This is just normal for me. I'm not old. I've held this job for 14 years and did it well. After holding a job for 14 years, they think I'm old. 65? Go fuck yourself. Uh, and they wanted, they, then they started walking on my lawn. I told them to get off of there, but they keep showing up. Uh, uh, making noises outside the window with their baseball game. And I'm not quite the social call myself well, what I'm saying is I don't like people and people don't like me. That's uh, what I'm trying to drive at. Quite sure I'll be able to pinpoint the ship there are hiding With a ship? a little more time so I can finally prove my theory. So sure as hell, I ain't going to return the Moscom satellite. Or... Here's my recorded confession of the corporate espionage I performed. Remote access... <laughs> I'm going to break and enter into their information systems. Maybe I'll do some digging into all that research in the 70s and 80s that they're so hush-hush. 
<laughs> yeah, maybe I'll even publish it in the paper and, and you just illegally break confidentiality and non-disclosure law while I'm at it. <laughs> but they're a bunch of dimwits. I'm, I'm smart. Uh, this guy's a maniac. Dang. Somebody knocked over the table. Don't shit! Um, a bookshelf. What the hell? Did the did that picture just change to a picture of my mom? Was that always a picture of my mom? It's about aliens. Why would my dad keep junk like this in the house? Now, who's nobody's gonna say why would my dad? They're gonna say why would dad keep you know? They're not gonna put the my in this there. Is, important. is this game set in Canada? February 2005. No, I'm going to try to read it in this guy's voice. February 2005. My dad buys the house here in Green Lake without consulting my mother. They fight, divorce, and he leaves us behind. He got the offer for the position at RI and CS because his old employer had a direct line to the research institute. It fitted his research perfectly, but required Hank to move to Green Lake. I don't know when he let Mom know. I do know that by the time he had accepted the job, he had already bought the house. Mom was furious. I remember her yelling that Hank only cared about himself and had no eye for her own career or the ambitions of their son. I believe she was supposed to become head of the research department of the university at that point. Mom always said Dad left us, but now I think about it. It could just as well have been Mom's initiative to end their marriage. Could it be that he intended for us all to live in this house? I think that was a pretty solid read in this guy's voice. Ah, what was the, was the blob in here? I just saw the blob. I was sitting in my father's bedroom. Beware of the blob, it creeps. It sweeps across the floor and it rolls right over and under the... Eight. Eight is great! Uh-oh. Lights are flickering. Better pick up this alarm clock. Oh, turn into a clown head. I dare you. A human hand! A human hand. Uh, Hank's ramblings. This would be a perfect opportunity for me to try to figure out what the hell's going on with my chat, because there's something deeply wrong with my chat. You'll never guess what I just found. A dead rat! This is Hank Morris, July 2015. What, what, okay. Me and the team were clearing the old storage room to the observatory to create some space. Finally got a new coffee station. <laughs> Finally yeah, got a new coffee we stick. Car to his own office. Anyway, turns out those rooms haven't been open for twenty years at least. And this guy there really sounds there's the like a, a these boxes. There's like an ad asthma thing going on. Sheets and research papers. I called it in at Mr. Reed's office. It's like a fifty fifty like, Ed Asner fell deeply in love with Ernest Borgnine, and the two of them got married, and they realized that, you know, as two men, they couldn't conceive their own child, but adoption was simply not an option for them. So they decided to go to a cloning institute and get, a like, a baby made of, like, 50% of each of their DNA. So this baby, Hank, was 50-50 Ernest Borgnine and Ed Asner. That's, that's who we're dealing with right now. God, those guys. I hope you Not enjoyed my fan fiction. I just read one of the reports. It's incredibly interesting. There's actual talk in there of extraterrestrial signals. Holy in the 70s balls. and 80s, they recorded a whole bunch of strange signals. Now, I've had a quick look at the telemetry, and I know it's way too soon for conclusions. But those signals look very alike. To what we encountered in 2010, but more rudimentary somehow. Imagine that. Extraterrestrials. 
My first thoughts in 2010 were, this is... <laughs> Bullshit! Now, why didn't they publish these records? I'm thinking of maybe bringing home some equipment from work and doing some extra hours. Wow, this is a great find. This will keep me busy for hours. Finally, something to take my mind off things. Well, off of... Take your mind off of what? Take take your mind off of, of your job that you've been doing? Well, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm confused by that statement. Oh, come on. What is this? Not charging? Why not? Is it not... No, oh, Christ. All right. Hang, hang on. Hang on a second. I gotta, I gotta fix something. There's, there's something going on here that I gotta fix. And it's, it's bothering me. Okay, that was that was involved. I apologize for that. I'm, I'm back. Just uh, trying. I, I'm desperately trying to get chat up so that if somebody actually does talk on the chat, that I can actually like you know see that and respond to that. Um, but my iPad is my chat right now, and it was just not charging. It was like, no, you're not allowed. Did you, I'm sorry. Did you want to see things on your on your stream, on your interactive stream where people talk to you sometimes? No, that's that's unacceptable. So it was a right kerfuffle, but I got it sorted. So if you want to say something in chat now, you can say something in chat, and we'll we'll actually be able to interact with each other. It'll be quite a time. All right, back to Hank. Hank and his wild ride. Um, I'm going to make a, a, a small confession at this point uh, in the game. This is where I uh, got to last night because I, I was playing the game for a little bit last night and I, I got to this point where I had found three out of the four numbers that are necessary for this code. Um, and, and then I could not find the fourth number absolutely couldn't find it. Now, what I did find, went down here. Oh, hey, Laura, how you doing? Oh, oh hi, Mark. Um, <laughs> I'm playing Sanity of Morris, which... Oh, my God. 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 That's not even what it says on the channel, is it? That's not what it says. I'm gonna go to my stream manager, and it's gonna say that I'm doing like just chatting or some stupid shit like that. And I'm gonna go to stream manager, and yeah, it's gonna go. It's gonna say makers and crafting, crafting, and it should say sanity of Morris is what it should say, and and then the name of the stream is going to be. 
questioning my sanity, and um, and that should do it. Good, 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 good vibrations. Does it now say that I'm playing Sanity of Morris? Please tell me that right now it says that I'm playing Sanity of Morris. Because this is kind of a big deal. Um, no, it's not Jesus Christ. It says I'm playing Makers and Crafting. I'm not playing Makers and Crafting, goddammit. I'm not. Oh, my dear sweet Jesus. Laura. Laura. I need you to tell me this thing says that I'm playing Sanity Gamers. Just say question my sanity, and I'm fine. Dare I say it even good. The problem is that right now, I think it says that I'm playing makers and crafting and that's absolutely not god damn it all right i have to i have to fix this it is important that i fix this because this is not like i'm not just i'm not joking they gave me a code this is they gave me like an access code to this game this game's not out yet and i need to have this properly fucking titled and everything like it needs to say that i'm playing sanity of morris otherwise i think they might be unhappy about about that. That it doesn't say that. So it should absolutely, without question, now say that I'm playing Sanity of Morris. So please, please, please say that here on my channel. There it is. Okay, thank Christ. Okay, I was I was you know, like really, really worried about that. These people, like I said, they they gave me a they gave me a code to get into the game. So it, now I'm now I'm playing the game. Now I get to play the game because I'm special. I'm especially who they gave a code to. And I need to honor that. <laughs> I freaked out. Okay, I'm good. Everything's fine. I'm a competent professional. And this is 100%, like I'm 100% definitely worthy of the fact that they uh, decided to, to do this. Um, they, they didn't invest their money in some sort of, say, uh, uh, mainstream media dropout, uh, who, who, like, went to college for television and film production, and then, and then kind of, like, uh, gave up after getting let go by a, a local, uh, television studio, and then questioned his self-worth for a number of years. Those, those are all, you know, that, 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 that that's not who they, who they gave their code to give their code to a guy who works in a computer store. It's totally different. There's crap on the floor here. Fred, or Hank, there's crap on the floor, Hank. What does it say? Horizon well only? I don't, I don't know what that is. Okay, so like I was saying, I played some of this game last night, and I got to this point where I had to start this. Big, small, biggest, small. Cool. And I had three letters, and I was like, okay, cool, that's not really all that helpful for me. And I looked through this entire house 40 times, particularly this bathroom, because there's, there's nothing in this bathroom. And I was like, there has to be something. I was trying to find a jump button so I could jump up on the toilet and look up above there. Nothing. It's nothing in this bathroom. This bathroom is a lie. So I got a little frustrated, and I kind of stopped playing the game. And then I looked it up online, and I found out that in the seven or eight times that I went through this bathroom and looked at this liquid in the tub, um, I saw nothing. I saw this note. Something about crop circles. Is he into that stuff? That's fine. Jeez. But apparently, right here, if you look at, if I'm looking here, there's nothing. N fuck all. No red, nothing. You have to, like, point... Nothing. You have to get over here, then it becomes visible, and you can click it, and this th that'll drain the bathtub. And now I have the number seven. So, like, I have the final piece of the fucking puzzle now. It. I spent 45 minutes playing this game the other night, just trying to get that. 
Um, so the, the first puzzle of the game might need a little bit of retooling, uh, is what I'm saying. But now that I have all of the elements... Got it. upstairs. So now I now I can look in the attic and find the secrets. And there's purple right away. That's quite a bit of purple. What the hell? Hey, what? I think you wanted me to go here. So what is it you've been hiding away in the attic? Hank, why do you have so much purple in your attic? I need more light. Well, what the fuck? What is this? Oh my god. It's some kind of freaky plant thing. Hank! You're not? Aliens are real! Exit! I, I'm not... That wasn't the most panicky... I mean, panic that I've ever heard in my life. But what are you gonna do? Um, so what is it? There's purple shit. Glowing purple... Pieces of some sort of weird alien thing. What's this? This image is important. What image? This talks about aliens. I should keep that in a separate timeline. Keep facts from fiction. Okay. Facts from fiction. They are watching us through the growth, learning about our culture. The growth, huh? So they're using plants to spy on us? It seems. I don't know, maybe not hugely plausible. Garbage shoot. Nothing more. Nothing more. I don't buy that. I think it probably is something more. Look around over here for files. These documents hold important information. Okay. This RCS looks like a major player. I'm writing them as a separate timeline in my journal. Separate timeline. Top secret. Of them. It's a very old government report about something that crashed into Green Lake. It's classified. Why is this report in a RI and CS folder? Do they have ties to the government somehow? Reading through it, it says the NSA responded to a sudden spike in energy in 1967. At first, they thought it to be some kind of foreign weapons test gone wrong. It's apparently some sort of meteor. It has plant-like fibers on it, emitting a strange energy. It's some kind of space vegetation. How did Hank get his hands on this document? That's a good question. Eh? Huh? Eh? Alright. So the purple things. Authorized personnel only. Alright, I'll bite. What's on the desk? What's in the desk? Recorded tape. Ding! Oh god, do I get to hear Hank ramble some more? This is Hank Morris. It's oh god. We've just had an unbelievable situation at the observatory. And god, I'm tired. We've been working nearly 20 hours straight. Better make themselves clutch. Dinners. First, I have to record this one. It's still fresh. Okay, so it all started with Card throwing down a report on my desk saying the dish is broken. Rubbish data, he says. I nearly choked him. It might have looked rubbish to him, but for me, it only took one glance to see something was going on. This had communication written all over it. It's in intervals, it's in the activity space. They know I'm worth my soul, so within ten minutes, we were turning the old girl around to try and get more meetings. We spent hours chasing the signals before the signals dropped. I reckon we got a meat appointment worth of dead animals. Now the brass had head off the That's a lot. Saying it was just our own radio. Business. Bouncing off planes flying. That sure ain't it. But they forget. I have a PhD in this. These frequencies are nothing like you find on it. And we didn't lose the signal. It's Carter now. Hell no. They stopped. Something was sending those signals. Now, let's just theorize. For everything we think we know aside, these signals could be more to them. 
What if we're looking at first contact? Yes. I mean, I've been looking at data like this all my life. And never ever have I seen patterns like this. They are Chinese or Russian, for sure. It's communication. It could even pass for the static, our own frequencies, for sure. But it is so alien to ours in very subtle ways. So, likely as it is, it is first contact. What is it you're trying to say? I, I like the sound of this voice actor's voice. Like I I like the way that he reads lines. I like his I like his actual voice. The problem is that they, they give him these like incredibly long winded like just monologues and, and then he talks very slowly. So I, f I feel like a lot of the game is just sort of spent staring at a screen listening to Hank. Um I think that could be there could be an improvement on that, I would imagine. is marked. Remote. What remote? Is it here somewhere? Remote. Must be this piece of paper. That's his remote. Oh, wow. Something special. It's like the magazine downstairs. It, it seems to have the same writing on the front as the back. Most UFO sightings have been located in control central USA in the past. It's further birth route has caused a known, I suspect, intergalactic communications through blue aliens in the government. Okay, that's that's fun, Hank. Is the remote like from your? Is it your fishing pole? Documents here. Nothing there, nothing there, nothing there, nothing there. The telescope, I feel like I could probably have a look through there and see something useful, but uh, no. No. Pictures on the wall. Some weird jellyfish stuff. Dates checked off. Get roof guy. Okay. Um. Is marked. It's remote. What remote? Is it here somewhere? It's got the, the amount. I mean, I talk to myself a lot while streaming, and this guy has me beat by like a wide margin. What's this? Okay, yeah, I got a big old green tentacle. That's fun. Hey, there's a box over there. E to focus the flashlight. Match the light? What is it? Uh, it looks like some kind of weird tentacle thing. Hey, there's the remote. A remote for something. Nothing's happening. <laughs> Nothing's happening, yeah. <laughs> it's a garbage shoot. Nothing more. You say that, but. It says exit on it. Can I go through the garbage chute, please? It's a garbage chute. Nothing more. But it says exit. It's a garbage chute. Nothing more. Well, if you're sure, John. What about this mop bucket? It's a mop bucket. Nothing more. It's a mop in a mop bucket. Nothing more. It's a camera. Nothing more. It's a chair covered in books. Nothing more. We'll go downstairs, and then the badman will be here. And then I'll have to run upstairs again to get to the garbage chute. Is that where we're going with this? It's my theory. I've been skulking around in a house that they absolutely had to have had un under surveillance this whole time. Like, if these people weren't watching this house, they're morons. It's where the guy lives. So... Okay, so I have the remote. Do, do I have a map?
M for math. No, okay, I don't have a math. Can I get... Oh, boy. All right. Let's wander up this way. We'll, we'll wander into the night in search of answers, like Mulder and Scully before us. We'll head up towards the red thing. And to the right. Oh, wait. No, this is where we came from originally. That's not good. All right. Uh, we'll head up and to the left. There, there's nothing. There's nothing to the left. An objective marker, a mini map. Um, just some sort of guidance, like some sort of the lights could go off or go on and like kind of point me in a direction. That would help. Factory here. Back this way. Definitely have to be onto some new territory by now. No, I think this is where this is where they chased me. Jesus fucking Christ! I died? Okay. How? Why? They came, they came out of nowhere. There was just nothing there. We got uh, Situation under control. I, okay. All right. So don't go that way. Um, I guess I'll go back towards the house. If I wasn't supposed to go up this way, you could have, like, had those guys get me about five miles ago so that I didn't, you know, just ass about in the dark for nothing. I can't climb up there. angry pianist is just following me around through the forest. Nothing that way. Just Dad's house over here. Maybe over this way? Nope, Dad's house is surrounded by stone. He's, he's like those guys from Tremors. He chose this place based on geographic isolation. Fucking balls to the wall scarecrow right here. That's that's horror. I respect that. Some blue flowers. Okay. We we cannot get to the other side of Dad's house. Now I I am sure that Okay, there's a little on them. Go through here. Maybe in the, maybe it's in this bathroom now. The secret lies in this bathroom somewhere. I'm certain of it. Uh, Alright, we'll go back upstairs. We'll ask about in the attic some more. There's going to be something I missed. Look for anything that glows red. Laura, anything. Anything that glows red. Boxes. A globe. Some, some fucking cobwebs up in the ceiling. This thing. Pointing the beam at this. 
Don't like that, do you? No? All right. Uh, more, more focused on that. Uh, nothing, 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 nothing. Aliens are real. Yes, I know. Exit. It's a garbage shoot. Nothing more. Yeah, I, I know. Ah, uh, ah, uh, oh, ah. Uh. The road. It's a human heart. What's that? Okay, so I can pick these up off the wall. Fish. Two fish. A human heart again. What's that? No. It's okay. Picture of a random girl. A oh. spider! I've got to keep saying, John. I've got to keep saying. Who says that to themselves? I've got to keep saying. Revolution. Celestial object that comes full circle. All right, I've looked at this computer like seven times. So it's not the computer. Maybe it's under the computer? Under the desk. Oh, pictures. These drawings. These are some strange plants admitted, but aliens, really? A calendar. Oh, the telescope. He's always obsessed over his projects. What is all this stuff? I don't know, but that looks like a perfect fit for our weird little remote. Not gonna do it. Okay, he's not gonna do it. The fan? No, not the fan. The chair. This wall of stuff. If I go around this way and look at this wall of stuff. No? Okay, somebody's around here with just scraping plates over here the first time I saw a crop circle was 1964 when oh my god no I'm not gonna I can't I can't read that I can't read that it's a garbage shoot it's a garbage shoot nothing more Okay. It's a computer monitor. Entry added. Okay, I've got a location to go. In a remote. It shouldn't be far from here. Are you serious? Better have some answers when I get there, Hank. So I had to pick up the remote and then look at the computer screen to trigger the things. And they, yep, and then here he comes. That subject is upstairs. Oh my god. There's only one exit through the garbage chute. The order is in. Shoot the target. I repeat, shoot the target. Oh god. I'll have to run. Or or are they gonna shoot the target or are they gonna Okay, these quick time events. How do we get away from here? They'll kill me. They'll kill me this time. All right, I toggle the flashlight. Mash left mouse button for what? What did I do? Must be nearing the location on Hank's map. That remote control. What about that remote control? Light just turned on. I'll need to cross this field. Hank must be there. Hank must be there. But I can't let the soldiers see. Or my flashlight. So I'm going to have to go without flashlight. Like, does he have to say everything? Like, they explain the things that they need to explain, and then they don't explain the things that absolutely need explaining. If I stay crouched, I turn off my flashlight, I'll improve my chances. God, I hate the dark. So I figured out that I can go under him in this sort of weird ravine thing. Good. They seem to be almost blind. Can I sneak up behind this guy and snap his neck like a twig? No. No, I can't. Which is a real shame to my way of thinking.
This guy's over here looking around at something. My character's getting more and more freaked out by the fact that he's in the dark. I have to stare at the red orb. What am I walking into? It's a good question. Why don't you turn your light? I thought, like, the second I turned on my flashlight, that that would be it. They would all descend upon me like a ravenous pack of dogs. But that's not the case. More plants. Do I need to go down here? Yes. Let's yes, you where I step. All right. Oh, I focus on you. Focus the beam. No? That doesn't... That doesn't do that, huh? All right, uh, it's a good thing that they introduced the mechanic of the, the beam tightening and, and making that plant shrink because otherwise I might have thought that shining the beam on plants made them shrink and go away. Okay, there we go. Okay, so this is out on March 23rd. Um, so if anybody who's watching this was able to see how frustrated I was by even some of the basic mechanics, uh, they, they will know that I, like, I feel bad because these guys gave me a, a key to, to play their game so that I could, you know, do a review of it. And I guess any publicity is good publicity, but I have, um, grave concerns. Uh, I like the atmosphere. I like the story and the concept. Like, we've got some aliens, we've got some investigation. I like the idea of the guy who wanted to be a cop and then, you know, flunked out because he has he has panic attacks and a fear of the dark and stuff, and then all of a sudden he's forced into this situation where he has to use those skills uh, even though he's, you know, he's sort of a reluctant hero. Like, I, th I think all that's good stuff. And the, the sort of mystery of, of what exactly is happening. What's with these plants? How are they tied to the aliens? What's this shadowy organization? Like, that's that's all fun stuff. Um, but the, the game is having trouble overcoming some of the mechanics of doing that stuff. Like, we have a lot of games out there that have you stealthily creep past enemies. We have a lot of games that have you solve puzzles or look around and investigate your environment to understand the answers to questions. But a game that just tosses you into a house and goes, hey, find four numbers, and anything that you can touch lights up red, except for the things that don't light up red because you're not close enough to them, even though you're two feet from them, there's just some mechanical stuff that needs to be fixed. And then I, th I think that this game actually has quite a bit of promise. But given the fact that it's coming out this month, so it's it's it should be ready by now. And if I'm being honest, I don't think that it is. And this is the demo. This is this is what they want to show people as as sort of evidence that like this is a good game that you're going to want to play. I, I'm I'm unconvinced. So um, I'm I'm sorry. Uh, Sticky lock and, and alter ego. Uh, it's, it's cool, but it needs, it doesn't just, just need something. It needs, it needs a lot of somethings before I think, before I think she ready to, to ship. That'd be my, my hot take on this one.